Hello, it's Huddy Lee here, an aspiring writer currently working on publishing my first book, uh, story. Um, and today we're gonna be doing the recap of June, the final video of me catching up on my bullet journal and then we'll be fully caught up and we'll go back to just doing monthly posts of this. <sighs> Um, still have like the same situation that I had on last video because I'm recording this immediately after the fact. It's just better to get everything done. So of course all of these are still the same. Instagram is still at 66, YouTube is still at 13, and followers is still at 33. Um, moving on, I'm trying to do this quickly because I mean everything that I've been saying been repeating myself but we're going to fill in this area here for June and then this entire side will be completed uh, this obviously I haven't finished reading this i um, gonna be filling in this column for June and we're gonna fill in with progress in this area so is this June no that's July And here we are with June. So for June, did a and fieldwork, personal rework for MPHL, fieldwork for 910, final draft for BB, and CL editing. Again, I did that. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go back over here. I don't know why I'm folding this up. I'm going to go back over here and do our hatches. Everything is actually gonna get one because a and field work and research is now completely done. So that will get a box. MPHL personal rework will also get a box. Um, 910 will also get a box because of field work and research being completed. BB will get a box for um, final draft and CL will get a box for editing. And with those boxes being filled out, this column will also be filled out as well. Our representative color for June is this marker. Again, not a Tombow, it's a Crayola. Uh, just running out of Tombow markers to use, honestly. I only have a few. I want to get more, but the hose is expensive, so. Um, going to go ahead and fill these in. You know, even though I'm getting new markers... To have like their own different representative colors. This marker it's still like low key. Looks like the same color for June. Not for June, for July. Even though I know that July is lighter, it still looks kind of close. Oh, on camera you can see the difference. Okay, cool. I was that's the main thing that I was worried about. Um, and of course we're going to fill in that for BV1. And that's it for whip progress. I'm going to go ahead and flip all the way back over to highlights. Um, I kind of messed up here and I was filling it all in all in one sweep and I messed up because I, I skipped over a day. So technically all of this is still filled in as it is over here. It's just yeah, I just messed up. There was just one day that I didn't know what to fill in and I skipped over it. So, yeah. For the first, I was relaxing for that day because yesterday, the night before, I had my party. And I this was the beginning of my Roblox fixation. I have been buying so many cosmetic items for my character and I'm loving it. 
on the second and the third, I was really interested in the dancing games. Um, as some of you may have picked up, I used to be on the dance team. I like to dance on my free time. So dancing games on Roblox just seemed right up my alley. On the fourth, I started growing green onions. They're still going strong. Um, have yet to need to buy more green onions from the store. Not that it matters because green onions is quite literally less than a dollar. So, yeah, but it's still something. It's a part of my agricultural journey. I've been meaning to want to garden for the longest time now. It's just a matter of knowing what to grow and setting things up so that everything isn't dying. The last time that I did gardening, I had a compost in the garage and after a while I just started neglecting it because I wasn't really growing anything anymore or at least anything with soil and so it was just chilling there and yeah so but it's gonna be different this time because I am going to be more focused and I have more time yeah on the fifth I posted the animatic that I mentioned last month and I think it was kind of a success. There's definitely some things that I will do differently because I chose to use two different programs for, um, well, not two different programs. It was all uh, IBS paint, but. I can't roll post. I almost made the phone call. I almost quit. I almost walked away from my marriage. Almost walked away from my job. Almost walked away from my future. Which, granted, that would have just been a lot more work, but that last section just looks completely different than everything else in the video. I don't know. It just, it, it was supposed to be a poorly drawn animatic anyway. I don't even know why I'm being so focused on that. On the technically seventh, <laughs> um, went to Chili's for my little bro's birthday. That was his spot. We go to Chili's every single year for his birthday. That is his thing. On the... Oh my god. On the 8th, the fact that I fucked this up is gonna mess me up. We did game night for his birthday. On the 9th and the 10th, I was playing D2 Final Shape, which I like. I have mixed feelings about it, but overall, I like it. Um, Yes, I do play Destiny 2. On the... 10th and 11th I got sick so I was just like sick and then on the 12th 13th on the 13th I no not on the 13th yes on the 13th on the 13th we did an early father's day because my dad was going out to do contracting work he wouldn't be here for father's day so we did like an early father's day breakfast um, I finished, kind of finished, <laughs> uh, D2 Final Shape, and I was struggling to get the nails that my aunt put on me off. I got the soaking agent, I did everything that the videos were telling me to do, and they just would not come off. And if you were to look really closely at my fingers, I guess I could bring it closer to the camera. Uh, I don't think you can really see it, but the texture on my nails is really rough because I was just struggling to get them hose off. So I did one hand on this day and then the next day I had to do my other hand because I was just so tired trying to take nails off for one hand. And then immediately after that I had to take down my hair. So I was kind of a little heated. Um, <laughs> took down my hair, got my hair put up the other two days after that, and then of course on the final day, it was Father's Day, and I wished my dad a, a happy Father's Day. Um, on a Monday, on the 17th, I had a donut interview. Um, on the 18th, I was planning to go out on Sunday. And um, on Juneteenth, I didn't really do anything because I don't know what to do on Juneteenth, to be completely honest with you. And then the day after that, I don't know what I did. Um... And then after not knowing what I did, I made a workout journal, which I can show you, kind of show you, I'll show you, yeah, I'll show you. 
It's a composition notebook. I decided to have it be gridded because it would just be easier to draw calendars on there. Um, and the first page, this is my inspiration. We have Little Baki when he was 13, we have Big Baki when he's 18, then we have Kenichi Shirahama, and we have Oma Tokita. Yep. Of course, all, all three of those people are um, martial artists. I like Kenichi. Well, I like Kenichi the most because he seems the most relatable in terms of like building muscle. Because he stays skinny for a really long time. And then um, I'm still learning new things about Oma. I know basically everything about Baki. I grew up with Baki. I was watching Baki on DVDs when I was little. And then, of course, we lost those DVDs in a move, which I'm still mad about. Um, I want to see if maybe I could order those DVDs again because it's just nice to have. But yeah, made a workout journal. On the 21st, I was preparing for the night out on Sunday. And then, of course, Sunday. Had that Sunday afternoon and night out. Went to watch a movie. Uh, Inside Out 2. Went to go watch that in theaters. Then went to the arcade. And then um, went to go eat. And then went to go to the pool. And during that particular night, they were hosting like... They were showing a movie. The movie they were showing was the new Mario movie. I say the new Mario movie. Like there's been multiple Mario movies. I think there has been multiple Mario movies. Or am I thinking of the show? I don't remember. Anyway, on the after that, of course, I rested because, dude, I was out all night. Um, after resting, this is when I started to really, like, hunker down and prep the content that you're seeing right now. Um, and then after that, it was the last day of Broke People Activities, and I joined Circle K so I can get free drinks. Still have three free drinks that I can use whenever the struggle happens again. On the 26th, I went to the DMV to renew my permit. Um, the actual renewal portion was super quick, but waiting to get to that point took forever. It said, oh, estimated wait time is 47 minutes. Tell me why I stayed there for damn near two hours. <sighs> The DMV just, like, racks my brain so much. Um, on the 27th, we had a family lunch at Red, at Red Robin, at Red, at Red Robin, um, which was all fun and good. On the 28th, we actually went to Cowabunga Bay. Dude, it started off fine, and then it got hotter. The hottest it got was 112. I live in Nevada, by the way, so no shit. But, dude, oh my god. Like, it It was to a point to where it, you know how, like, whenever you're out in the sun, first you start to tan, and then, and then you start to cook? Yeah, it just fucking skipped the tanning process and went straight to cooking. Like, I, I felt like I was a rotisserie chicken. It was, like... My melanin wasn't helping at all. The amount of different times that I reapplied sunscreen was not helping at all. It just got worse. Our ice evaporated in a cooler. Our ice evaporated in a cooler. That's how bad it was. This is illegal. It has to be illegal to, to be this hot. Anyway, I just hate the heat. <laughs> I hate the heat with a burning passion. Um, and for the final day of June, I went to a little anime convention. Um, started out at the anime convention. It was really small, so there was only some things that I got. I will show you what I got, and I love them so much. They're so cute. I'm going to put them in my desk, but I got a little 3D printed Stegosaurus. Look at him. Look how cute he is, and he moves. <laughs> um, and then I got a salamander. <laughs> he also moves. He's so cute. Look at that face. So adorable. Oh. Um, and of course, it is a light orange and a green. Light orange, green, and yellow are my favorite colors. 
if you couldn't already tell. Um, <laughs> but went to started off at the anime convention. We put our numbers in the raffle, and then we went to the mall across the street. Um, played in the arcade for a little bit. Had something to eat. Oh my god. They gave me a pitcher of sour water. I got my refund, but they gave me a pitcher of sour water, and that was just the cherry on top to my entire day. It was great that I got those cute little guys, and that's like the highlight of like the entirety of that day, but oh my god. If, it, if I didn't get anything, like if there was nothing at the convention that I wanted to get, it would have been a bad day. <laughs> it would have been a bad day, but um... No, the, the the little guy salvaged it. So now we can input the highlight. So the highlight of this month would obviously be my little brother's birthday because we did a lot of things for his birthday as well. We went to Chili's, um, had a little game night, as well as went to Calabunga Bay. And those are like the highlights of that month. So I'm just going to put little bros B-Day and then in parentheses we're going to put, oh and I was applying for like a bunch of jobs for the month of June too because I mean y'all see my subscriber and follower count. I am not making money from doing all of this. This is just something that I'm doing for fun. So I need money. One of the jobs, so here's what happened. For the donut interview, I never got a call back. So, so there's that. Never got a call back from them. And then uh, I have an interview for a pastry, to be a pastry chef. And that interview doesn't happen until August 6th. And that's around the time when I will be starting school. So whatever availability that I told them that I had won't be the same anymore. And that may cause me to lose. That that, that may cause them to not want to call me back. The second one, they, saw, they thought that I wasn't a good fit. So I wasn't even given an application or an interview. Um, and for the last one that I applied to, it was to the same place. It's to this casino. The, one of the new casinos that opened up. And they were like, okay, we'll let you know if we want you to have the position. So I'm still waiting for them to contact me about that. Um, I was contemplating about doing Dutch Bros, but, uh, oh, uh, doing Dutch Bros, but I don't want to be standing out in the heat. I really don't. And they just have people sitting out in the heat taking orders, and that would that would make me mad. Apply, apply for jobs, and then then there's posting. So yeah, get the representative color for June. This entire column is officially done, and now it's time to look into June and as you can see I'm getting back to actually legitimately writing um getting back into those moments hold on give me a second okay I'm back just um needed to take care of something real quick but back to our regularly scheduled program, we're just going to fill in that column for the month of June. like breath of fresh air okay so with that not only does this conclude this video but it also concludes me 
catching up with all the time that <laughs> all those times where I didn't do a bullet journal recap. So now we are finally on track and we can go back to our regularly scheduled monthly bullet journal recap. With all that being said, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching all the way through. Of course, it'd be greatly appreciated for you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. At the same time, I can't force you. All I can do is hope you stick around to see my creations. Have a good rest of your day or night. I'm Honey Lee, and it was a pleasure talking to you. Bye-bye!